I've, I've been teaching for about 15, 16 years around Liverpool doing local history and it just goes to show there's always new um, new things to, to be discovered really. Um, but uh, this Christopher Roden character, he was really the, the Anfield equivalent of, uh, of um, Wavy Trees Picton really, you know. Um, and Liverpool's full of these characters in the 19th century, these philanthropists. You've got Picton, you've got the Mellies, you've got uh, the Holtz, um, you've got the Rathbones. Yeah. And Christopher Rowan, really, is this forgotten philanthropist. Why do you think he, he's been forgotten? You've mentioned the Rathbones. People will know Holt Road, Rathbone Road. They'll know about George Melly and the city's water and the fountains. What, what about Rowan? Why, why was he forgotten, do you think? Why is there a dead end? He didn't leave a legacy in, in regards to, you know, a, a, a dynasty, if you like. Um, so um, his, his name, effectively, um, di died out with that generation. Um, but what, what the research has, has dug up is, is that he's, he had a younger brother called Joshua um, that, that seems to be a bit of a black sheep, really. He, he, he was sent to do all the dirty work, wasn't he? Yeah. And uh, he, he did have children. So one, one of the things that we want to find out, really, is, is um, are, are there any uh, Rawdon descendants uh, walking around Liverpool? This is what's addictive about research in history, and there's never been a better time. Oh, yeah, well... It makes it easier because when you when you can go onto the internet, you can uh, check on uh, you know family history records. You can you know you can look at censuses. You can you can look at uh, maps online. You can you know look at local um, registry. Does it become an obsession when you find out another little bit of information that leads you onto another bit that leads you onto another bit? I mean that's that's research and that's oh, yeah. that's yeah. local yeah. history yeah. anyway, isn't it? Yeah, that's. I think, I think a lot of the students are getting passionate about it as well because it's a local character. He, even though he's born in Yorkshire, you know, um, he settled in Anfield and, and, you know, kind of lifted Anfield up at that time, you know. Um, but, yeah, you know, there's, there's a lot of passion there. He's, he's, he's seen as one of the community. Um, everybody that lives around the area knew about the Rawdon Library mm. and, you know, they probably learned to read from books from the, from the Rawdon Library. Well, what we're trying to do is um, put together all the factual facts, facts themselves, so as true as possible as we can find them. Now, one of the things that we haven't mentioned this morning is that Christopher Rowan also started Liberal Commercial Bank, which then was the bank outside the Bank of England. So is that when we liked bankers, not like today? No, no, no. <laughs> no, Christopher Rowan and his brother uh, were the bank's it was the Northern Bank of England, if you like. It was an honest banker. Really? <laughs> well, I don't you know. <laughs> did honest bankers uh, exist back then? Well, you know. Uh, you never can tell. Uh, again, um, the brothers had um, banknotes engraved. So, and again, this was the largest bank outside the Bank of England. Mm. And the London Bank at the time it was called, but it's not the Bank of England, you see. So there's another first for Anfield then, I suppose. Um, if anybody is interested in coming to the centre and if anybody wants to maybe, if they have a thirst for knowledge, if they have a thirst for, for local history, if they've walked past Rawdon Library when they were kids and often wondered, why is that building called this? Or I wonder what went on there. How can they get on one of the courses? Um, well, they can come along on uh, Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon. Um, we're at the, the ABCC Centre um, and uh, we start at 1.30 and finish at 3.30. That's every Tuesday. Um, and that's in the crypt at, uh, well, we're here, aren't we, in the Holy we're Trinity? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know, we, we have a mix of local history uh, lessons and, then, and then, then sometimes, you know, we come back to this project and see how people are doing. So, David, tell me what became of, of Rawdon. Where is he? Surely he must be buried in Anfield, did he disappear? Well, uh, surprisingly, he's actually buried in Toxteth, in uh, the ancient chapel of Toxteth. Uh, Why did he end up in Toxteth? Well, be, being a Unitarian, um, that, that was the main centre, really, at that time, um, the ancient chapel of Toxteth. And um, he's, he's, his grave is there, um, his, his big, large monument, and it's next to the Mellies, um, it's next to the Rathbones, there's Holtz there as well. So it, it's like... Um, all these great philanthropists of the period are united there, you know. So that, that is another place to visit as well.